guys, I'm Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor and we're getting ready to paint a floral chicken. So we are gonna be painting this adorable little chicken with a flower crown on it. And she's gonna be cute as can be. Um, and I wanted to make the announcement before I get started that Painters Clubhouse is open for enrollment. So if you've been watching all of these videos that I do and you've been thinking to yourself, man, she's good at that. like. I wish I could paint as good as her, or man, she makes it look easy. I just wish I could do that. You can. This is a skill that anybody can learn to do, and you can do that inside the Painters Clubhouse. It's my membership group where I teach you how to paint door hangers. We have over, um, I think we're up to 900 members in there now, and those ladies are the sweetest, most kindest ladies. We don't allow any negativity. They're always lifting one another up, encouraging one another, and sharing ideas. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First off, let me say all of the paints that I'm using tonight are Deco Art Americana Matte Acrylics. Um, and the colors that I have are, I'm gonna go ahead and list them now because I may forget throughout the video. So the colors I'm using are Marigold, True Red, Oyster Beige, Honey Brown, in case any of you guys are keeping notes, Bahama Blue, Hauser Light Green, Hauser Medium Green, Peony or Peony Pink, I never know how to say that, Lavender, and sunshine yellow, which is actually a patio paint. It's a little bit different, um, but it's a really bright yellow. So we're going to just start with the background color of our hen, little hen's face here. And I'm going to use the oyster beige for that. Somebody said, do I have to buy this or is it? Oh, yes. This one is in the template club. If you did not get it with your template club membership, this was one of those last minute add-ons that we decided to do. So we will send this one by email. We just haven't had a chance to yet with um, you know, opening the doors to the Painters Clubhouse. We've been busy this week. So this one will be going out if you are a Template Club member. You do not need to buy the template for this one. You just haven't gotten it yet. So it was um, a last minute bonus template. So we'll be sending that out shortly. This Oyster Beige is a really nice like beige khaki kind of color, but it's a little warmer than some of your normal tans. So for Painters Clubhouse, if you, um, if you're scared that maybe um, maybe you feel like you're not sure if you're ready for it, let me just say that when you join, you get access to um, a beginner's course, which will walk you through the basics as if you have never painted a door hanger before. So you will get a video um, showing you how to use a jigsaw, how to use a scroll saw, and a template to use to give it a try with just a basic shape that's pretty easy to cut. And then there's a tutorial showing you how to paint it two different ways. And there's tutorials kind of walking you through different ways that you could do lettering because there are many different ways that you could do these sort of things. Um, and I want you to just kind of go with whichever one seems least intimidating to you to start out. Um, and as a Clubhouse member, you also have con access to the content that we release every single month. So coming up on April the 1st, we'll be putting out some brand new content and you will get access to two nor new door hanger tutorials. We put out our content every Monday, and um, we usually try to do them live, live if possible in the Facebook group, but sometimes they are pre-recorded. Um, if our guests are unable to do them live or if they just feel more comfortable doing pre-recorded, we just do pre-recorded, so it just depends. But most of the time, my tutorials are live inside the clubhouse. And so when I go live, I usually have my camera facing down over what I'm painting so that I can um, tell you specifically what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and you can see my brush moving a little better than like you can right now. Somebody said if I pay for the year up front do I get instant access to the Clubhouse Vault? Yes. And if you're wondering what the Clubhouse Vault is, it is the um, whole content that we have in the Clubhouse from the past two years because we actually started Painters Clubhouse in April 2018. So we have two whole years worth of content in there. So if you buy the year up front, you get instant access to all of that. If you're paying monthly, you will get access to that the longer you're in. We will drip it out to you a little at a time. That way you're not super overwhelmed um, and you're just unlocking it as you go. Okay, the next color I'm gonna use is called Honey Brown. Something else that we do inside the Painters Clubhouse that's a lot of fun is our Zoom paint party nights. We do those at least once a month um, and we get together on a Zoom call and we paint together. Some ladies don't paint, they just like to come on and hang out and that's totally fine. You don't have to get on and paint. We don't teach anything during those, but we do just visit with one another. We get to know one another and we just try to connect 
And so usually that ends up being a great time to like ask questions. And if I'm there, um, cause I'm not always able to attend them. If I'm out of town or something, then somebody else will kind of play the host. But um, if I'm there, you can ask me questions, but there's always ladies in there who are willing to like share their knowledge and help and answer questions themselves. Um, so it's just, it's really great because the ladies in the clubhouse are always so willing to help one another. Um, we've had ladies just this past week go live inside the clubhouse and share how they did a live sale this past week and sold 33 door hangers. I mean, that's just crazy right now when everybody's like, Losing their jobs and stuff, you wouldn't think people would be buying door hangers, but apparently they are, and our clubhouse ladies have proved that. Um, another lady said that, she said, you know what, I've been posting and posting and could not sell a door hanger, and then all of a sudden, I sold one Wednesday, and she said, since then, I've made an extra $500. So, sometimes it's just like the tiniest thing that can like start the ball rolling, and then it suddenly you're making huge leaps and momentum forward. And so that's very encouraging. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the eyes of this little chicken white. That way it can be drying and then I can do the black parts of the eyes. So um, I usually always give you a color list at least afterwards, but I'm not great at planning ahead on what colors I'm going to be using because sometimes I don't know till I'm actually sitting down to paint. But you guys can probably relate to that. Um, is there somewhere in the clubhouse that has a picture to go by for the templates? Um, have you noticed that our templates come with a color mock-up? Um, we always show our, our templates in a black and white and in a color. So the color mock-up would be what you would look at to try to decide how to paint it. And then you could just kind of color match colors to go with what you see in the picture. So if, if you ever find a template that you don't have a video tutorial for, that would be my recommendation. And I would just start with the large areas first, like I'm doing now, and then work your way to the smaller, more intricate, intricate details afterwards. <laughs> Where do you get the cutouts of wood? Sherry, we cut them ourselves and ship them, which by the way, if you are not wanting to cut your own blanks just yet, I guarantee you, you will eventually, by the way. That's just kind of the nature of the beast. You get obsessed and then you're like, I can't wait for blanks to come in the mail. I got to learn how to do this on my own. So if you're wanting to buy the blanks up front before you um, really kind of get the courage to start cutting them yourself, we do offer a 20% off discount code that you can use inside the clubhouse at any time on blanks and templates and it has unlimited uses. So you could buy all the blanks you want to your heart's content with that 20% off discount code. That way um, you get a deal and they get, and uh, you know, you don't have to cut them yourself. Okay, this color is called marigold, by the way. I don't know if I was supposed to say that. Okay, now let's do her wattles. I think that's what it's called. I think it's called the comb and the wattles. It's been a while since I read up on my chicken literature. And this is true red. It's a really beautiful bright red and it covers so nicely compared to some other reds that I have used in the past. I really, really love it. It's a really bright, bright red. And I'm just using a flat tip brush right now. It's about an inch wide. Um, I use it because it shows less brush strokes the wider the brush is. So if you can get away with using a slightly larger brush, you're gonna have better results. But if you're working in a small area, of course, decrease the size of your brush. I don't know why I just rinsed that out. I've got a paint the comb up at the top too. I have to be real careful up here and not get it all over those cute little vines. So, uh, by the way, let me just say that all of our blanks are available in four different sizes, six, eight, 12, and 20 inches. The 20 inch size is the one I'm painting now. Um, and you can purchase them etched or not etched. So the etching is the design that you see that I'm painting around the lines. The not the non-etched ones would look like this right here with nothing on it. So if you are confident that you can draw the face of the chicken um, and you know stuff like that, then go ahead and get the go ahead and get the not etched and you can just doodle it your, or draw it yourself. But if you're not confident in drawing it yourself and you just want pretty much paint by number, then get the etched ones. 
I'm just painting inside the little detail lines in between these little vines right here with a tiny little round tip brush. It's a really good detail brush. By the way, if you do need brushes, we do have some available in the shop. There's flat tip, round tip, um, filbert tip, and angle, I think. Is the 20% off for all the sizes? Yes, ma'am. How do you get rid of brush strokes in the area that has other things going on? Um, I just try to smooth it out as best I can. Like for instance, in this area here, you can kind of see my brush strokes, but there's a lot of details going on there. So you're not gonna notice that once we get everything done. So just try not to worry about it too much. Yes, the templates are the ones you trace on the wood yourself. Is a scroll saw good to use to cut them out? Yes, it is. Scroll saw or jigsaw are the two methods that I recommend. And we have videos showing you how to do both. Okay, somebody said, what's the difference in flat tip and filbert tip? Let me show you. This is flat. See how it's squared off at the top? This is filbert. See how it's rounded? Filbert is the rounded edge, right like that, kind of curved. It's kind of like your fingernails. You know how when you go get your nails done, you get a manicure and they say, you want square or oval? <laughs> square tip and oval tip. Um, the, flat, the flat tip brush is good for painting large areas like this. The um, filbert tip is good for doing rounded areas. So if you were doing a flower and you needed rounded petals, use the filbert tip. Also good for lettering if you need nice, smooth um, edges on your lettering. What kind of wood do you use? These are all quarter inch MDF. Um, if you're cutting yourself, you may have a hard time finding that kind of wood. So I recommend getting Revolution plywood from Lowe's. Yes, this, the lemon design behind me that Jerry's talking about is from the Spring Door Hanger Challenge we did last week. So that one's closed for signups, um, but Painters Clubhouse members got access to it for free. So if you're in the clubhouse for a little while, you may gain access to that one before too long. I don't know how long it'll take, but um, after a month or two or a few months, you may gain access to it because they will add more into what you've got the longer you're in. And I just realized while talking, I forgot to paint this little area up here. I'm so easily distracted. Squirrel. And here I say my son is the one with ADHD. Maybe I have it. Okay, so with the colors that we're using for our flowers so far are pink, purple, and Bahama blue. This largest flower I'm going to do in pink. I'm going to use a slightly smaller tip, flat, smaller flat tip brush to paint that area. And then when we're done with all of the background areas, we will add some details with the Uniposca paint pens. They are my favorite lately. I've just become obsessed with using them on everything. If you've been watching any of my videos, you will know. Like, they're on, I use them on every door hanger now. It's funny how your, like, the method that you use sometimes changes. In the beginning, I always used round tip brushes, and I still do in a pinch. If I didn't have a Uniposca paint pen, I could do everything with a round tip brush. But I think for those of you that I'm teaching that are new, the easiest method is to teach you with the paint pens because they are the easiest to learn with starting out. And then, of course, you can branch out from there as you get more used to controlling a paintbrush. Somebody said, were the template clubs members getting this design? Yes, you'll get it via email. You just haven't gotten it yet. Pat said, how do we know when you will be painting like this? I'm a new member. Um, Pat, I do. I paint live on my page here every Tuesday. So you can just expect every Tuesday that I'll be here. Sometimes I do it during the daytime around 2 p.m. And sometimes it, it's at nighttime around this time, like around 8 p.m. So if I'm not on in the afternoon, you can usually almost always catch me in the evening unless, of course, I'm out of town or something like that. And I usually try to let you know if that's the case. Um, but then in the Painters Clubhouse, we release content every single Monday. I give you a tutorial um, for a door hanger every single month, and then we do a guest painter does a door hanger, and then we have tutorials for um, different kinds of techniques and whatever we're learning that month, and we change it up from month to month. To month. Um, something new that we're going to be starting in the month of April that I'm excited about is we're going to be doing a business tip of the month. And so um, if you're just starting out and you're just doing this as a hobby, it may be something that doesn't interest you right away, and that's totally fine. This is kind of geared toward our members who've been in it for a while and maybe are thinking about going from a hobby to a business. 
And so it will allow them to kind of like baby step into that and to kind of get a tip here and there that will just help them out. And so we're gonna start doing one business tip a month and see how that goes. And so, um, okay, let me use this brighter yellow to do the other flower. And so even if you're not thinking about starting a business right now, just keep your mind kind of open to the possibility because I, I can almost guarantee you, not like 100% guarantee, but um, most of you will start to consider it after a while. And I think it's just because like people start to ask you, it's just natural. They see that you're making something beautiful and they're kind of like, are you selling those? You know, and they start to ask in the, you know, you can only say no so long before you're like, maybe I'm just leaving money on the table. Maybe I should be selling these. And then eventually um, you kind of get to the point where you're like, okay, yeah, like, let me just throw a price tag on it and see if I sell it. And sometimes you end up selling it and you didn't, didn't know you would. And so before you know it, you got a business and you didn't even intend to start a business. That's just kind of how it goes sometimes. All right, I'm going to switch to a round tip brush and I'm using the Hauser medium green and I'm going to paint my leaves. And then of course, after I'm done painting here, I can answer any of your questions. If you have painters clubhouse questions, I recommend that you go over to the sales page. We've got the link in the video for you. You can also say the word link in the comments and it'll send it to your messenger. Um, go over there and at the very, there's lots of things that will answer your questions on there, but also at the very bottom, there's a frequently asked questions section that oftentimes answers whatever question you might have. Um, one of those questions is almost always, do you allow us to sell what we learn to paint in the clubhouse? Or do you allow us to teach those at paint parties? And my question, my answer to that is always yes. I always want to encourage you guys to um, sell what you make because honestly, it helps pay for your membership. So why wouldn't you sell what you make? That way you can make the money back from what you paid to learn how to do it. It's just smart. I think I'm gonna use a different color on this cute little vine, maybe a lighter green. Um, so I'm just painting this cute little vine going up through here. And I'm not doing it, I'm not being very neat. Maybe I need to try to be a little bit more neat, but I'm just not a perfectionist. I'm just dabbing the paint on there. And then we'll go back and add more details with the paint pens. But I'm definitely not very good about staying inside the lines. So rest assured that you can still enjoy painting and come out with a cute product, even if you aren't good at staying in the lines. Because I do it all the time. If you're having trouble seeing um, what I'm doing, swipe to make the comments go away. Like swipe to your right and the comments will disappear. I should have used my Mevo tonight so that you guys could see better, but um, I kind of got set up for this at the last minute and didn't have time to get all of that hooked up and going. So we just had to use the trusty handy dandy iPhone tonight. Oh, I just splattered some paint on the, the little comb and waddles or whatever you call it. All right, so now we've got most of our base coat colors done. I do need to add a couple of touch-up spots where the red wasn't thick enough and where I got my paint splatter on there. Like right up here, I didn't put it on as thick, so I'm just gonna add just a little bit more so that it looks nice and bright. And then we'll go through and add our details in a moment. When you buy the templates and the digital cut files, does it do the etching also? Um, so Donna, when you get the template, it will have the etching lines drawn on there and you will just have to use graphite paper underneath to transfer all of that to your wood. So you can, you can make it look exactly like this by doing that. All right, let's get um, another brush here and do the eyes. Let me get some black. I'm running out of slots in my little egg carton. I've used lots of colors. We're just going to add some black on top of this brown here. Just go for it. Work with what we got. 
Let me rest my hand on the door hanger so my hand doesn't shake. So just get that covered in there and then we'll go back and add a little white highlight inside the eye after that dries. You may have said it, but I'm just tuning in. Is this template available for Painters Clubhouse? Um, this one is available inside um, the store, Amber, and it's available to people who do template club. But it was a bonus template, so you guys will get it via email. So if you have you you probably haven't gotten it yet. So just stay tuned. We're gonna get it emailed out as soon as we can. It's a bonus template for the template club. But you can also buy it inside um, the store. So if you're wondering what in the world I'm talking about, I have technically two different memberships. I have Template Club, which we don't teach you how to paint in Template Club. We just give you bulk amount of templates for one low cost. Um, it's $30 a month. You get all of your templates up front on the first of every month, and it's all of the new templates we're gonna release for the upcoming month. Um, and so you're, if you're not a Painters Clubhouse member, the cost for that is $30 a month. If you are a Painters Clubhouse member, you can also get Template Club for just 20 bucks a month. And so that's 20 templates for $20 a month. That's, you cannot beat that anywhere. Um, where do you find the videos from today? Jessica, I went live on Framed by Sarah Williams. It's a Framed page. I went live on Texas Art and Soul. And is that all today? Oh, and the Social Easel. <laughs> so those are the other lives that I did today if you want to go look those up. I have added a little bit of white to my pink, and now I'm just going to go in here and add some details to my flowers. Now let's do the same thing with the purple. Add a little bit of white to our purple. Create a really nice lavender lilac kind of color and do the same thing. I'm being pretty messy with this. so. Your flowers can be messy too. Um, and let's do the same thing for the blue. Add some white. Hey guys, it's Tamara Bennett. I am gonna go live and uh, finish painting this chicken. Oh, my phone is dead. Um, we tried to paint it last night on Facebook Live and we got this far and then all of a sudden the live video crashed. So I thought we would um, finish it up this morning that way you guys could like see the end product. So when we dropped off the call last night or the Facebook Live last night, we're, what we were doing is we were mixing white with our base colors and we were using a round tip brush to add some flower details. And as you can see, I only got part way done with that flower before the Facebook Live just suddenly just blipped out and quit. So we're gonna finish this up real quick. <clears throat> And I want to know, have you joined Painters Clubhouse? Some of you guys have and some of you haven't. Um, so let me know if you're one of the ones that have joined Painters Clubhouse. And it's not showing me your comments, so hopefully it's going to. Facebook, um, I've heard, is having its largest number of users right now. It's like record highs or something because everybody's stuck at home. And so Facebook is working real hard just to keep the lights on. So hopefully you guys are hearing me and seeing me right now because last night after... After the broadcast dropped, it just suddenly cut out with no warning. And when I tried to turn around and go live, so last night when I was um, painting live, all of a sudden the broadcast stopped and I tried to restart it and go live again, but it wasn't allowing me to restart the video. Every time I would hit go live, it would just have this little spinning wheel of death, if you will, that said starting live video. And then it never did actually start the live video. So. If that happens during this video or any of my other videos from now till Friday, just to let you know, we are putting all of these videos on YouTube as well. And so um, I can probably put my YouTube link in the comments for you guys if you like. That way you can go and follow me on YouTube because it, if you follow or not, not follow, but if you subscribe to someone on YouTube, it will send you like an email or a notification on your desktop to let you know that that person is live or that person is um, has uploaded a video, which I don't go live on YouTube very often, but 
I may have to start going live on YouTube this week if Facebook, Facebook continues to have problems. So let me type my YouTube uh, handle in right here for you. You guys should be able to just click this link and go over to YouTube. Where's it at? Ah, come on, Facebook. This may not work. I was gonna type it in. I was gonna type it in live, but now it's like not even letting me. So I may have to just do it at the end of the video. Yeah, Facebook's having problems. Okay, so I'll just type it in at the end of the video so that you guys can go and follow me. But it's Southern Adornments Decor over on Facebook, youtube.com forward slash, if somebody wants to enter it in, Tamara Bennett 7. Forward slash Tamara Bennett 7. So all right, so that's where I'm gonna be uploading all of my videos. And if Facebook Live is not working, that's where I'll be going live. So just know that. And I will let you guys know ahead of time on Instagram stories and Facebook stories if that's what I'm doing. That way you guys will have a headache, he heads up. So I've mixed a little bit of white with my turquoise and I'm just gonna finish adding just a couple of little accents to that flower. And then we're gonna take a slightly darker color of turquoise this is called bluegrass green. I'm going to mix it with the turquoise I already have because it is a little bit too strong. So I'm creating a lighter and a darker color. I don't always do this on my flowers, but sometimes I do. It just creates a little bit of depth. So you mix a lighter, like a white in, and then you mix a darker color in, and then it creates depth on your flowers. So now we can take our turquoise and just, oh, that's still not dark enough. Let me try just using just the bluegrass green, not mixed with the white, with the other turquoise. So then go in and add darker little petals and details, and that makes a big difference in how your flower looks. See that? All right, now I'm going to get this marigold color that we used on the little beak, and I'm going to use that as a darker um, accent on my little yellow flower here. And then I'm going to use white as a lighter accent. Some of you guys were saying you didn't have any paint at home. Um, I do have some linked in my Amazon affiliate shop that, um, oops, I just dipped in the wrong color, that you can have shipped to your home. It's all the Deco Art Americana colors like I use, and so they're, in, they're sold in sets. So if you're dying to get started painting and you're stuck at home right now, Amazon can ship you some. Just know that. Um, let's add a little bit of white to our turquoise flower here too. Sometimes I do that with a paint pen, but now that I've got this round tip brush out, we'll just use that. And then we'll do some darker accents on um, the red flower, or the pink flower here. I'm just going to use this true red color. Just add just a little bit more detail with the true red. So if you haven't signed up for Painters Clubhouse yet, you can still do that today and get two of the bonuses that we are offering. One of them is the 3D flower template. You can get it for free. And then the other is um, a free tutorial for how to do the football sign door hanger that we have in my shop. So if you want to sign up for Painters Clubhouse, I've put the link up above for you guys. Um, deadline to sign up is Friday. So if you've been wanting to join and learn how to paint door hangers, please do it before then because we don't open up again until the fall. Okay, so see how I added darker um, purple and some red to that pink flower and it made a lot of dimension. And then the white one, we added a darker yellow and some white, or the pink, the yellow one, sorry. We added some darker yellow and some white. Hey mom. Patty, I live in Kentucky. So now we can um, take and add some white to the eyes here. And then we're going to finish everything up with our paint pens to add some details. Okay, so now that we've got that done, I'm going to get my Uniposca paint pens. The largest one here, these are in my Amazon shop as well. The largest one is the bullet tip, and you can just take it and outline everything that you want outlined. Saves you lots of time and makes it nice and uniform looking. <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat. Um, I will be going live here again tonight if Facebook allows. If it does not, I'll go live on YouTube. So make sure you go and subscribe to YouTube just in case Facebook is having, you know, way too much traffic and can't handle it. I'll go live on YouTube instead.
And I'm pretty sure you can still interact on YouTube just like you do here on Facebook Live and comment and things. All of these little lines are gonna make it look so cute. So I'm just using the largest Uniposca paint pen right now, the big bullet tip, and I'm just outlining all of the main parts of the door hanger. Let me go around the top of her. Whoops. And sometimes I get off the line, but that's okay. We're not going to panic. Just going to keep on keeping on. Now, if you are using these Posca paint pens, make sure you don't use a spray sealer. Um, make sure you, br or, sorry, make sure you do use a spray sealer and then use a, um, if you want to do brush on sealer, you'll have to do it after you have spray sealed it. How do we access your Amazon shop? So Amazon, if somebody wants to type it in, is amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Southern Adornments Decor. Thank you guys. You are awesome. Okay. This pen needs to be pumped. There we go. So now I'm just going around. Let me make sure this is working. It's acting kind of weird. Um, just going around my little leaves and adding some little details. Now these, I try not to outline everything too perfectly. I like the look of it being just a little bit doodled looking, a little bit messy. So I'm kind of intentional about that. I try not to outline everything perfectly. Okay, and then we'll do the eyes. Got some fuzz coming off of my paint bin there. I'm gonna have to rotate it. My hand is getting a little bit wobbly. We had several of you guys sign up for Painters Clubhouse yesterday, so if that's one of you, comment and let me know. Thank you, Amy. Vicki, you've been watching all the videos. Well, girl, it sounds like you're interested in Painters Clubhouse because if you've been watching all the videos, that means you're very interested. Whoops indoor hanger painting and you would be a good candidate for a painter's clubhouse even if you've never painted a door hanger before you can join and get started with us we take you through a beginner's course when you get started that teaches you everything um, about how to cut a jigsaw or how to cut a how to use a jigsaw to cut a door hanger or a scroll saw if you prefer i just got paint on her little forehead here Let me get my baby wipe there we go. No harm, no foul. Ah, get what I did there. Um, and then we'll do some accents and flowers, but I need to dry this real quick. Yay, Tanya signed up. Uh, I see some other people joined. Welcome. Hi, Melody. Kathy signed up yesterday. Ginger's in. Yay, girl. Uh, Lejana, April, you guys are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Chris, are you laughing at my foul joke? It's kind of like a dad joke. Okay, so the little accents on my flowers. I needed them to be dry. So now I can take my paint pen and just go around and add some whimsical little doodles. Do some more over here. There we go. So lucky here. We've added all of our little doodles on the flowers with the paint pen. Now we can go back with some white and add some more. Only problem is my paint wasn't completely dry, so I've got a little bit of a mess on the end of my paint pen. Um Yay, Nancy joined. Welcome to the clubhouse, Nancy. I'm so excited. Um, that is one styling chick. <laughs> yes, she is. Um, so somebody the other day said something about being a chicken lover and that they loved this door hanger. And if you haven't known me for very long, I'm a chicken lover as well. So you're in good company. Now I'm just taking the white and doing the same thing. Just adding some fun little doodles and lines and accents and highlights. There's not really a wrong way to do this. And you, like some people worry sometimes about like how much they should do. And you'll get the hang of that. Like it gets easier the longer you do it. So now I'm going to take, this was the medium size. I'm going to switch to the largest one, which I haven't even opened this one yet. I'm 
get, it, get the paint flowing here. And then we're gonna add some white highlights with the largest one. Yay, Robin joined. Okay, Diana, it, or Diane, if you wanna join, there's a link up at the top. Um, it's southernadornmentsdecor.com forward slash paint painters dash clubhouse. But I put it up in the description, so you don't have to type that one in if you don't want to. Chris says, like me making a cow joke yesterday when the cow got loose on the major highway. Oh my goodness. Cows were my first love, to be honest with you, Vicki. Um, I fell in love with cows a long time ago uh, because when I was really young, I used to show cows at the county fair. Now, they weren't my cows, but my best friend's dad had a farm, a dairy farm, and so for fun, he let me and his son show his dairy cows in the county fair, and so I fell in love with cows back then. Okay, now we got it working. I fell in love with cows, and um, yeah, they were my first love, and then cows are more expensive than chickens and a little harder to keep, so I ended up converting to being a chicken lover more than a cow lover now because they're just easily accessible pets. Are the pins refillable? I don't believe so, no. Do you sell all of the door hangers that you paint live? Yes, Christy, you can find them at shopdoorhangers.com. So now we're just gonna take this really large bullet tip pin and do some cute little accents on our chick. And you can see that this creates a much uh, wider highlight than the other one. So see the highlights on the flowers, how skinny they are? And then the highlights up here, they're much larger. So this pen makes a much broader <coughs> stroke. So we are all done with this cute little chicky and FedEx is pulling up the driveway. So I hope you enjoyed this video and will join me back tonight here on Facebook Live. And if we can't go live here, we'll go live on YouTube. I've put the link, or somebody else put the link in the comments for us. Um, I'll also link it up at the top of the video after it's over. Go and subscribe to my YouTube channel just in case. If I can't go live here on Facebook because Facebook's overloaded, I'll go live on YouTube. Um, and we will be painting the 3D flower pot. Yay, Brenda has subscribed on YouTube. Okay, well, I might see you over there tonight, Brenda. We'll just have to wait and see. But if you're also checking stories on here on Facebook or Instagram, I will try to let you know, depending on how Facebook act is acting, if you can't, like, find me where I will be. I usually try to communicate with you guys through the stories because people see those more often and stuff in the news feed. So, all right, I will see y'all tonight. Go sign up for Painters Clubhouse. Bye, Bye y'all.